Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and today I will show you how we can convert objects into sand particles using molecular script add-on from Blender easily. So here I am using Blender 3.4.1. So first of all, I will import a 3D skull model. So go to this file, import. Here I got that file, so select it and import OBJ. So here we got the model. So press 3 for side view, S, reduce the scaling here. And let's rotate this here, hold Ctrl K and rotate it. Let's reduce this a bit. Go to object, apply, apply scale. So in order to get this effect, we need to install molecular script. So I will leave a link in the description to download that file. So after downloading it, go to this edit, preferences, install. So here you can see we got this molecular script, right? Just select that and install add-ons. After that, we need to enable that one. If I search here, you can see I have enabled this one. You need to enable like this and save those preferences. After that, select the object, come to this particle system and click on this plus icon to add particles. So here if I play, we'll get some particles. So here I want all the particles to be visible from the starting frame. So let's change this end frame to 1 and here lifetime, I will change this to 250 since our timeline is 250. So now come to this source option and emit from, change it to faces and distribution, change it to grid. So here we'll get this grid pattern. So now let's increase the resolution. So I'll increase the resolution to 50. So in place of these particles, we will add some actual mesh. So go to this add mesh. I will select this ecosphere and I will place it here aside. So instead of these particles, we'll be using this ecosphere. So select this skull, come to these particles, scroll down, come to the render options and render as change it to object. And in object, we need to pick this ecosphere. So let's this ecosphere so now instead of this particles we got the ecosphere okay fine so now if you want to reduce the scaling we can do that so i will leave this to 0 0.50 only and here after enabling this molecular script add-on we will get this molecular option so enable it expand this one and come to the simulate expand it so frame start and end 1 to 250 is okay so here the sub steps indicate the stability of these particles so higher the number will be best so i will change this to 10 and scroll down come to this density option and calculate particles weight just click on that and in preset i will select the sand and expand this collision so now if i play this you can see the particles will fall down so let's create a collision plane so go to this add mesh select the plane here let's increase the scaling of this and let's apply scaling for this also so select the plane come to this physics property add collision so for this collision i will increase the friction and damping value also so let's increase the friction here so if i play this now you can see the particles will interact with this ground plane but they are not interacting with the particles itself so we need to enable collision for these particles also so select these particles again come to this particles property so come to this molecular properties so here we have selected this sand right so it will replicate the sand properties here now expand this collision activate shelf collision so now particles will collide with each other and after that come to this link option activate particles linkage this indicates the linkage of particles between one to another so here initial linkage i will change this to 2.5 so this value we need to check with the randomized number and we need to select which suits better so i think 2.5 will be good for the simulation so after that new linkage after collision let it be one so after that let's bake this simulation so scroll up and click on this start molecular simulation just click on this so here the bake is done and if i play this now we got this kind of effect so here the particles are not exploding so if you want to have particles exploding few of the particles to get explored we need to reduce the link value here i have set this value right so let me show you that also so let's select this particles and let's free all the back now come to this linkage option and let's reduce this value to 1.25 okay so after that let's click on this start simulation so before to that let's add a cube here so add mesh select a cube and let's place this here and for this cube also let's add collision so go to this collision property and increase the friction and also the damping 
So for this plan, I think I will reduce the damping a bit and also the friction. Now select the particles. Come to this particle system. Scroll down. Come to the start molecular simulation. So just click on that. So now let's see the result once again. So yeah. So now you can see we got this result. Okay. So now select these particles and let's hide the source. So just disable the show emitter option. So now let's move to this material viewport. So in order to change this particles color, we need to select this ecosphere. Come to this material properties, add new material. And here we can change the color of this curl or any object you selected. So in this way, we can create or we can make objects into sand particles in Blender using molecular script add-on easily. So I hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.